As you can see, there are a lot of people around the, the round table here, and I will only very briefly give you some details about uh, who they are, uh, because we have two hours, and we really want to devote it to uh, interesting presentations, dialogue between the panelists, as well as an, obviously an opportunity uh, for the audience to ask the questions. We have um, four Jean Monnet chairs on this uh, table, including uh, the very newest one, uh, which is Natahan, uh, from Thailand, but so we, we have expertise of people who have really built their academic career around studying uh, the European Union. And we have one particularly eminent person, uh, Professor Dai, uh, from Fudan University in Shanghai, who, who was awarded the equivalent of uh, the EU's Oscar uh, for his work on uh, EU-China relations, and indeed translated the Treaty of Rome into Mandarin. Which is, uh, so, uh, a brief introduction, uh, starting on the far side, we have our two colleagues from the NCRE here at Canterbury, uh, Serena Kelly and Natalia Chaban, and they will be giving uh, their perspectives. Uh, Professor uh, Nazahan from Chulalongkorn in Bangkok, uh, Dr. Wenwen Shen from Korea University in Seoul, Paul Bacon from Waseda University in Tokyo, Professor Bing Ran Dai from Fudan, Shanghai. Uh, our visitor and Erskine Fellow uh, for this month, uh, Sir Michael Lee uh, from Brussels. He tells me he's soon to become a Belgian citizen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sitting next to me, uh, Richard Whitman from the University of Kent at Canterbury uh, in the UK. So a couple of words, not to, uh, to overlook anybody else, but particularly Sir Michael Lee here, here is an Erskine Fellow of the University of Canterbury, which is a wonderful scheme. Uh, he has spent uh, 33 years in the European Commission and rose to the, the highest level of Director General uh, for Enlargement uh, in 2006. Since leaving the Commission, he's been working with the German Marshall Fund in the United States, is extremely well connected, uh, and also began life possibly wisely uh, as an academic in John Hopkins University in Bologna and also in uh, the University of Sussex. So he is with us for a month and brings in a wealth of real policy expertise as well as having his finger on the pulse, I believe, in, in Europe. And uh, uh, also a word about Richard, who's, who's part of uh, why we're here through the Jean Monnet Centre of Excellence that he's managing, that we're part of. Uh, Richard has um, worked for Chatham House in London, a professor previously in Bath, currently in Kent, and has seems to spend a wonderful last year as an ESRC senior fellow on the project of the UK in a changing Europe. We've asked the speakers to speak for six minutes uh, to give uh, their perspective. And the perspective we want, particularly from our colleagues in the Asia Pacific, is on what does Brexit mean for our region? Are there actually positive outcomes that, whether it's Korea or China or New Zealand or Japan, can see? Or, or are there, is it really doom and gloom? So we want them to speak about their perspective, their national perspective towards Brexit. Uh, so Michael Lee and Richard, I think, will drag it more back uh, to a UK perspective. So we will. Each one has been told they can speak for six minutes. Uh, let's see uh, how disciplined uh, academics are. I'll ask uh, Sir Michael Lee to kick us off with his reflections. <laughs>